And I'm going live. And I'm here without Sam. Because she was wrapped in presents. My eye is killing me. Like. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Shadow. She get a little half her shadow. I don't know if you'd wear it, though. She's a little bit of a psycho. Oh. I don't know if I'd be able to get a hat on you. Hey, Neo. How's it going? Yeah, we're waiting on Sam. She was wrapping some presents for people. And, uh... Yeah, so she'll be on in a moment. I, oh, I slept like crap last night. So my my idea for the topic this morning was to do something on sleep part two because we've already done sleep before. But the way I was feeling this morning, oh, I was dragging ass. <laughs> <sighs> Got off the Rider Sanctuary last night, and um. Immediately afterwards, I had to call Dad because he called me while I was doing the show. And then, instead of the normal 20-minute conversation with Dad, it wound up being an hour and a half. And then, I had to chat with a friend on Discord for another hour. And then, I tossed and turned in bed for an hour. I didn't get to bed and uh, sleep until like noon, uh, noon midnight. So. <sighs> Neil says, I didn't get any weight from last week. If I didn't lose any either. There you go. Me too. Like, I gained five pounds over the weekend again, but I lost most of it again, so I weighed almost the exact same that I weighed this morning as I weighed last week. There we go. <laughs> so. I was in the wrong fucking channel. Am I in the wrong channel? No, I was in the wrong channel. Oh, yeah. Huh? And you gave me shit last time. For I that. heard you talking, and I'm like, he's not even fucking here. And then I look, and I'm like, shit. That's me. Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> So are we starting the show then? Yeah, sorry, my bad. All right. So I guess I'll edit all that before I upload it. I'm sorry. I, I, I kind of like it, just uploading the whole raw footage. I like it. I was getting my drink for when the girls finally get here and I can actually drink. I'm really sad about this moonshine you bought me. Uh, the pina oh, Jesus, the pina colada. Yeah, because there's a lot of pineapple, not a lot of moonshine. This is only right. my it second glass. <laughs> this is only my second glass, and it's full to here on this glass. Of pineapple? Uh, well, of the moonshine. And I have mm -hmm. a few pineapples in here. And there's almost no liquid left. Yeah, it looks like it was pretty full. It's full of pineapples, and those pineapples are good, too. I bet they are. <laughs> <laughs> then why worry about drink just scoop some pineapples out and eat it for a oh, snack I will. what do you need I don't feel like that's a good snack and well if you think about it moonshine is going to be like super low in carbs <laughs> um I don't know if the sweeter ones like this one with pineapple necessarily I think is. it's I think it's all going to just be the pineapple juice yeah with the, the natural pineapple sugars which sure. are better for you anyway yeah so yeah <laughs> Neil says, I think that will sneak up on you, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, you've had two glasses now? Well, no, no, no. Number two? No, I drank the first one on Sunday when we were streaming. Oh, all right. Yeah, I haven't had any tonight because the girls still aren't here yet. So, I'm and I won't. Use a fancy, I'm having to use a fancy United glass because oh. all my Grand Bowie ones are dirty. <laughs> so... Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So how'd you do this week? <laughs> <laughs> well, I already told Nia what I did. I I uh, I lost a bit, gained it all back over the weekend, and then lost a bunch the past two days, and pretty much the exact same weight today as I was last week. Well, I've eaten like shit. Yeah. Not even pretending. Well, that's that's the hard thing about the holidays. That's all like Grandpa Dan. It was. Give Grandpa me a Dan. second. Yep. I got a question for you. Uh, of course you do. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm still working on. Let's see, I played the Xbox a day for 24 minutes. I actually added a round to my Virtual Smash game, so I worked up one hell of a sweat. Like I was wearing these. I'm wearing. Uh, 
they're not it's not necessarily denim but like a thicker short and uh they were soaked <laughs> by the time i was done playing i took off my tank top because i was like soaking wet but that's one of the big things i like about that game is that i will throw myself into it and wearing the weights um i could fill up my shoulders um and it yeah it will work up one hell of a sweat inside 25 minutes my well, people pushing my door open um my heart rate was usually hits around 170 my average is usually about 135 while i play so i'm gonna keep doing that and i'm thinking about going just going back to the gym starting the gym tomorrow or not tomorrow but uh monday yeah which means setting my alarm for five. <laughs> five. Yeah, that's going to get old quick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Neil says, what? No shirt, you say? Doc is going to miss this part. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not taking off my shirt right here. <laughs> no. No, when I play my game, though. What you doing, fat girl? Oh, so... As I was saying, Everybody I have done really, so really, 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 really bad. Um, I've eaten out every night except one night this week, I think. Yeah. The night yeah, I made yeah. my egg sandwich. Last night I had Trader Joe's Kung Pao chicken, chicken fried rice, and proper portion sizes, no less. We're not going to talk I about what I had last night. I'm going to get those bento um, containers that we saw on Amazon. Those and, ones uh, that you added to your wish list? Yeah, I'm going to make a video on breaking up uh, Trader Joe's portion sizes. Cool. Because you're still getting, like when I weighed it out, it's still more food than any lean cuisine will ever give you. And yeah. it's like a third the price. And, so, and way better. Think, yeah. I, I, I would rather have Kung Pao chicken every day than processed meat patty with... Okay, so don't, don't get me wrong. I do like the Parmesan chicken lean cuisine, but that's because I like cardboard chicken. <laughs> <laughs> cardboard chicken. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> but um, I'd much rather have Kung Pao chicken than that. Oh, my window got really stuck in the middle. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Cloak is now in my lap staring up at me. Yeah. But the cool thing about Cloak is that she'll stay there. She'll just lay there. Throughout and the entire stay. show. She won't bug me. She won't try to nibble on my fingers. She won't try to push her face in my face. Yeah. She's pretty calm and relaxed. Huh, baby? You just like being in my lap. She's such a jealous shit, too. Yes. Yeah, Anywho. Anywho. Um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about what I had for dinner last night. Oh, come on now. Everybody's sharing, you pansy ass. You're going to be sad. No, I'm not. Because I love Kung Pao Chicken. <laughs> I went to good times. Yeah. I, I like good times, but I think that last time I had a big daddy really did it for me. Like, yeah. I remember being able to pack that away. Plus large some, fries, yeah. large drink, and like snack later on. Right? Last time I had a big daddy from good times, um, I felt bloated as shit for the rest of the day. I didn't even want to look at food. <sighs> I'm not the 300 pound fat ass I was before. <laughs> right? I can't pack it away like that anymore. I need to get that through my head. But I do like good times as um, Mushroom Swiss Burgers. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty good. Now, I didn't finish my sandwich. I sent it home to Grim. What'd you um, get? The Big Daddy. Big Daddy? Yeah. Well, the Big Daddy's like, it's monsters. I don't know if you have Good Times in Texas or wherever anybody's from that's watching this later. But uh, Good Times is like, how much meat do you think is in a Big Daddy? Like half I a have, pound? Yeah, probably. It's like two patties. They're massive. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's loaded with real bacon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did eat the bacon Like off two slices burger. on the bottom, two slices on the top, and like two different types yeah. of cheese. But in three different levels. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I only a, ate like half my burger. It's a colostomy bag waiting to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so. But it's it, it's good. It's just a lot of food. It's a lot it's of a meat. It's a ton of food. Yeah. Yeah, Neil says yummy. It, it is. It's, I love good times. I love their fries too. The seasoned fries at good times. Ugh. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I could eat that shit all day. <laughs> but... But I really, really like the uh, uh, Mushroom Swiss Burgers. Yeah. I should have got that. You should have. So... Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, I've eaten out every night this week. I have not stepped on the scale because I know it has doesn't have good news. No. Um... Well, you know what you can do when you're feeling bad about your weight? Just look at the comment section of the YouTube channel. Right? <laughs> oh, my God. It's that yeah. one video that Sam has that's gone viral. Right? <laughs> Everybody across the pond. I mean, some of these names are hard to, like, pronounce. But most of them are I love yous and... Yummy and, and hey beautiful was, and yeah hey beautiful. Uh, there's like a ton of them. Yeah. Like see, that's what we need to do. Sam need, Sam can grow the channel like that. <laughs> if she would post yeah. more updates, show a little bit of cleavage. <laughs> it's crazy. Never know. You might meet Mister Wright. No, not like Or at least Mister Wright now. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Accept donations, right? Oh, that's what you could do. Yeah. You sign up an account with like Buy Me a Coffee or Ko fi. We can even set you up with a Patreon or OnlyFans. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, the guys that the guys that watch your videos would throw money left and right at you. I know they would. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> and you probably wouldn't even have to do much. I know. You probably show feet pictures. <laughs> right? So, we have, I have a reason for this is why I came up with today's topic. So, we're just going to jump into the, well, great segue, great segue. <laughs> okay. While you're doing that, I got to shut the door because I'm getting echo. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Um, so, I played in the snow last week. Uh, or this, what day is it? Friday. Played in the snow Friday, wore brand new snow boots, and pinched a nerve in my foot. Now, I did not pinch that nerve in my foot because I went out and was playing in the snow. I pinched that nerve in my foot because I'm fucking fat and my feet cannot handle carrying the amount of weight that I'm carrying. So I've yeah. spent the last week going nuts because uh, that's yeah that's where we got the idea for the topic today uh-huh yeah. so when i have nerve problems unlike most people who it feels like fire or pain or that's how so many people have described it to me mine itches and it's an itch that you can't scratch and there's nothing you can do like it makes me nauseous it itches I get those. so bad. I get those in my elbow. Yeah. And this, this is one elbow. That's so weird. It's ner it's nerves. It's a misfiring of nerves. Uh -uh. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it's been driving me crazy for this week. And nothing I can do has made it stop. Or if I take ibuprofen and then I have a homeopathic nerve um, pain mm. medicine mm. that I can take... And that has helped, but it would have never happened if I weren't fat. Man, you should try a nail. I'm telling you, a fork, oh, right. something. <laughs> Luckily today, when I woke up, I did take the nerve, um, the homeopathic nerve thing and some ibuprofen. But I have not taken anything else all day long. Yeah. And it's every once in a while it'll like spasm, but it's not where it was making me feel sick or making me crazy, which is good. But I started thinking about that and the damage that has been done to my body. That's, some of it's reversible, but so much of it isn't. Yeah. Because I'm fat. Like knee damage. Yeah. You know, Most of the time, knee damage is not reversible. It makes me think of Shelly, who is my best friend, who went and got the weight loss surgery, but that's a whole other topic where I can't even get into that because that'll start me on a whole I, tangent I rant. Say, I think we've done but, that before, haven't we? Yes. 
We can do a part two for. Uh, the, we will. We'll uh, for, for the two. actual podcast. Yeah. The sequel. But so. Sequels are always. Her bad. whole thing is her. She was really, really heavy, and she's like, I just want. I don't want to be skinny. I just want to lose enough weight where my knees stop hurting. And I'm thinking, yeah. bitch, it's not gonna happen. You're gonna have to be skinny, and your knees are still gonna hurt, just not as bad. Yeah. You know, at work, I work in the new area that they just built at the Denver airport. And our break room right now is downstairs. Yeah. I can go downstairs just fine. I don't have any problem. I go downstairs without a problem. I cannot go upstairs. I, you know, most people, they're like, step up to, you know. And oh, yeah. Like, well, even here, you have to. Oh God. From Dan's basement. Have you seen me go up these di- my my laundry is still downstairs <laughs> because I can't <laughs> carry it up. <laughs> <laughs> One um, step at a time. I have to pick which foot I'm and then I have to step up. Both feet on the stair. Step up with that same because one of my knees now, one of my knees got damaged before I was fat, um, by one of my clients when I worked with disabled teenagers. Okay? Uh, yeah. That was a fun job. Yeah. Um, I went to physical therapy and everything like that. But I have permanent knee damage already because of that. So that's the knee that gives me problems. But it wouldn't give me as many problems. Like, I'd be able to walk up and down. When I lose weight, I can walk upstairs. I am a little slower. Like, I'm not super fast at it just because I don't have a lot of function in that knee. But being as heavy as I am right now, I can't go upstairs. So I try. I don't go to the break room. <laughs> because well, I do now because the guy showed me where the elevator. One of the guys showed me where the elevator is. <laughs> nice. But every time I get the opportunity, I do walk down the stairs because that does strengthen um, well, the muscles that I struggle with. I, it just takes me so long and it hurts. It hurts so bad to go up the stairs. And when I'm at work, I just don't have the time to go up all those stairs one at a time. It's like step up, step together, step up, step together. (laughs) It just takes. So once he showed me where the elevator was, I was like, awesome. But I do not take the elevator down. But I'm thinking, you know, (laughs) even if I lost all my weight, both my knees and my feet are screwed. Yeah. I have so many problems. So is that big ass mark on your leg that you still haven't got checked out that is like hard as a rock. We're not talking about that. It's fine. It's yeah. okay. Deep vein thrombosis. It's fine. It's okay. Sam's a candidate for a stroke. It's fine. <laughs> we just don't talk when you about have it. It's okay. A deep purple bruise the size of a softball it's not bruised there's no cut there's no discoloration on it at all no it's just hard now it's just hard yeah um muscle fibers aren't supposed to be that hard (laughs) it's fine i'll be all right no it's like poking a wall (laughs) not supposed to be that way (laughs) hey kdc how's it going hi kdc it's fine whatever (laughs) but i mean so many people don't take into account that being so heavy our bodies aren't designed to care we're not elephants elephants are specially designed to carry to have flexible bones to carry that weight humans are not that's that's one of the things i was going to bring up tonight is uh i was doing research for the topic tonight and came across some stats that I'll be doing in a blog post coming soon. Yeah. But one of the things is muscle and bone damage. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize that, yeah, well, you're right. The human body was not meant to support that much weight. And so yeah. it does start to degrade your muscle tissue and bone mass. Yeah. Coincidentally, which is awesome, is when you're lifting weights, it strengthens the bone mass because then the bones have to adapt for the increased uh, muscle mass that is attached to them. <laughs> so your skeletal muscle. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, obesity does weaken the bones and muscles. 
And this is from the scientific stuff, so I'll be adding links to all that in the blog post. But I only get my information from um, normally the National Institute of Health and National Institute of Mental Health, NIH. And that's uh, mostly because they share all of the studies that they do um, for just about everything. So that'll, that'll be coming out, I don't know when. I just started it tonight, so. Yeah. Yeah, but that was one of the big things. I mean, you just like and and those that kind of stuff does not show on your blood scan. Uh, no, blood so they'll say, "Oh, your cholesterol is fine, and you don't have high blood pressure, but the fat does still press against your internal organs. It does do damage to your muscle and uh, the muscle tissue and the bone density. Yeah. So even though your blood screen comes back positive, and I'm you're still fucking your shit up. <laughs> I mean. And I still, one thing I brought up a couple weeks ago, I have yet to meet a 90-year-old who is obese. Right. Do you know why? Because they've Cause died. Because they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> now, I haven't personally, though, there's probably people out there who are obese who are 90 years old. I've never met one. And I've known a lot of fat people. Uh, KC says, I just bought new Beats Fit Pro. These are headphones that are supposed to clip in your ears and prevent falling off when working out. I don't know how to put them in, though. <laughs> <laughs> Tape. <laughs> right. Super glue. But, I mean, I just think about all the physical problems the works wonders. that I have now. And I know that while some of them will get better and some of them won't be as difficult or painful yeah, if, if I lose you'll weight. You'll be able to... If you lost... Uh, the 100 some odd pounds that you wanted to see, you'll be able to walk up the stairs, but you're not going to be running up four or five stairs at a no. time like I do. Exactly. So, here's another one, and not very many people will understand this, but anybody who's had kids and is overweight will get this. The heavier I am, the more likely I am going to pee my pants. <laughs> I've never had that problem. You also have not pushed kids out of your ooh ha. <laughs> I know. That's true. That I haven't done. <laughs> so not wrong. I have noticed a correlation, and I've talked with my mom and about the same thing. <laughs> no, I was just thinking about something I was about to say, but that would have been completely offensive. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, See, Neil gets it. She has a. She yeah. has her little one. Yeah. The more I wait, like. If when I lose weight and when I was down at my thinnest, I almost never would pee my pants even a little bit when I was in a hurry. Mm. When I'm heavy like I am now, I will see a toilet and I'm starting to pee. <laughs> and I'm like... Psychosomatic. <laughs> yeah. But... Gotta squat. <laughs> the heavier I am, the more likely I am to pee my pants. That one I haven't looked up. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> yeah. It's, and it's not just me personally. It's, I've talked, I've actually talked to quite a few people that have had kids and have that po problem anyway. Because mm -hmm. once you pop out a couple kids, you sneeze and you're going to pee your pants. It just happens. Well, once uh, you're 46, you sneeze and half your back goes out. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that's, I mean, one of the things that I personally have noticed and then talking with some other women that I know, they're like, oh, yeah, I hate that. Like, I put on some weight, and I'm going to pee myself. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I've never had that problem. I'd hope not. Luckily, yeah. But, I mean, it's stuff like that. That Now, if I lose weight, that does go away. <laughs> but if I lose weight... My bad knee is still going to be my bad knee. It's just going to have so much less pressure on it. Yeah. And my feet problems will be less. I yeah. used to, when I was a teenager, have really high arches on my feet. Like, I'd have to get shoes with arch support. Yeah. Okay? Um, and now I was looking at my feet while I was trying to deal with the foot issue, I was, I have like almost no arch in my foot anymore. Yeah, but your feet are so callous anyway, how would you know? They're not, <laughs> my feet aren't bad. Oh God, no woman. 
Your feet are the bottom of shoes. They are not. They're not. They fat are right so now. thick and calloused. Well, they, they are used not. to be. They used yeah. to be. Damn, you're bulletproof. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They're not now. I take good care of my feet. But it's one of those things. <laughs> what the hell is that cat doing? He just fell. <laughs> he was walking across my lap. Lap and his back foot fell straight between my legs. <laughs> and he's like, yep. oh crap. <laughs> and Neo says, I have to go to the restroom before I wash the dishes. Yeah. I mean, it's stupid. It's real shit. <laughs> but, I mean, so now, while I won't suddenly have an arch again if I lost weight in my foot, but I'd have less problems, like, with my plantar fasciitis. I'd have less problems with the foot pain that I deal with or, you know, putting on snow boots and pinching a fucking dirt in my foot. Well, before I lost the majority of the weight, remember when I did the 5K walk? Yeah. I busted both feet. Yeah, you had stress, stress fractures. Mar mar metatarsal stress fractures on both feet. Yeah. That's what happens when you go for a 5K walk at 300 plant pounds and wear loafers. <laughs> Probably if I would have wear running shoes, it probably wouldn't have been so bad. <laughs> well, yeah, shoes that would have had different, better support. I had to support. wear a cast. Or, uh, had to beep off around Walmart with one of those damn carts, and I hate those things. <laughs> you have such an issue with those. I do. <laughs> well, it's not an issue with the carts themselves. It's uh, most of the people that use them. But you know, I busted my foot. I could barely walk as it was, and there was no way I was going to walk through Walmart with the, having the boot on. So I had to drive the stupid little cart. Grr. Grr. <clears throat> but yeah, that was one of the issues I had when I weighed so much weight. Weighed. When I weighed so much. Yeah. Was, uh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Exactly. And the flesh proved it was weak. <laughs> <laughs> Busted both feet. That sucked ass. I, I finished the 5K, but I was in a world of hurt. Would you make up your mind? Well, and it wasn't even, if I remember right, it wasn't even until you after the 5K was over that you were really hurting. No, it was shortly after. Yeah. When I realized that something was wrong. Yep. <laughs> it wasn't like, uh, I don't know, a horse stapling my foot into the ground and then someone popping my pinky toe Whatever. a day later. <laughs> it wasn't a day later. It was like four weeks. It wasn't even that long. It, it wasn't even was. healed when you rebroke it. Oh, you want to talk about pain? I about threw up. That was horrible. <laughs> and right there I knew it wasn't the joint that popped. <laughs> it was my bone. <laughs> and it didn't have time to, like, you can brace for it when you know something's coming. It's like, Ugh! it doesn't really hurt all that bad. Nope. I thought she was popping my toes and watching TV. All of a sudden, Felt really bad. Instantly. <laughs> Instantly, I was going to yak. <laughs> it, was, it was painful. So, what kind of research did you do today, and what did you learn? <clears throat> well, we kind of already went over quite a few of them. Okay. Um, actually, I, mean, I can probably load up the blog post. I've got it all laid out. But, you know, because everybody knows that um, with obesity comes high blood pressure. Yeah. And that is like the leading cause of a ton of things. Yes. Everything from heart disease to kidney failure, um, stroke. So I was trying to find things that weren't nearly as common that people probably don't know about. Yeah. So I'm going to take a look at it now. But like um, everybody knows diabetes, coronary heart disease, all yeah, that kind of stuff. That's, I mean, all... that's common knowledge. Osteoarthritis. There you go. What's osteoarthritis? A breakdown of cartilage and bone within a joint. Yep. Which is caused by obesity, which is yep. what your knees are going to have. Yes. It's osteoarthritis. Uh, sleep apnea. Now, this one that we kind of already knew. Yeah. Um, I have a problem with sleeping anyway. And so... Um, like, it's hard for me to breathe at night a lot of times, if I, especially if I'm laying on my back. I will have a habit of, I will stop breathing entirely. Normally, I'll gasp and wake myself up, 
but yeah, Mrs. Ghost, yes, yeah, Sam. Yeah, uh, I machine. don't need a CPAP. You do need a CPAP. But it used to scare the shit out of Sam when I was heavier because I would stop breathing oh, yeah. in the middle of the night. But mostly I would gasp and wake myself up and start breathing again. Now it's not so bad. No. Since you lost weight. Yeah. I, since I've lost, um, let's see, I, I was at my worst when I was 300 plus. So the last 80 pounds, it's gotten a lot better. I, I still have issues sleeping on my back. Yeah, I was gonna say I wouldn't know. I haven't slept next to you in like. But there's like, well, there's times where I'll be sleeping right and I can hear, I can feel it, um, my breath getting shallower and shallower. Yeah. While I'm still awake, and that is a freaky feeling. <laughs> so if I roll over on my side or on my stomach, then and you're okay. I'm fine. Yeah. So it's the weight pressing against the diaphragm, which is what causes the sleep apnea. Yeah. And I have that in spades. These two. And then a fuck ton of cancers. I'm not going to list them all, but <laughs> we're looking at everything from uh, liver cancer to brain cancer. Yeah. And diseases. I mean, there's a lot of shit that well, and that's obese one of the people things aren't I was like, say keeping in mind. That's one of the things that a lot of people that are overweight don't take into account is that your it damages it can damage your liver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, people think, like, oh, the only thing that damages their liver is, like, hepatitis or alcoholism and stuff like that, but... Hemochromatosis. That, oh, I didn't tell you. Uh, they think that's what that has again. What? Yeah? Remember when you were talking about it before, why they couldn't figure out what the hell was wrong? Yeah. But, um... What the hell was that? Yeah. That was a weird message that popped up. Um, they said something that sounds interesting. I, I, what? <laughs> anyway, um, it wasn't even on YouTube. That was from Facebook. Weird. I'm not on Facebook. Anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, back in the day, uh, a lot of dad has a lot of issues. And so at one point they thought it was hemochromatosis. And now the doctors are leaning towards that again because all the patterns fit. But now he's worried it's pancreatic cancer. Yay. But that's another liver issue that's not necessarily related to obesity. That's just yeah. hemochromatosis is issue. a lot of fun. It means you have too much iron in your blood and it can cause all kinds of issues. But yeah, so uh, let me see. Metabolic syndrome. Um, these are things that are caused uh, that effects you know like heart disease diabetes stroke high blood pressure high glucose levels triglyceride levels um hdl cholesterol too much fat around your waist obviously yeah. fatty liver diseases yep there you go um fatty liver disease are a condition in which fat builds up in your liver none see fatty liver diseases include non-alcoholic fatter fatty liver disease mm -hmm. and non-alcoholic here we go. Steatohepatitis. Yeah. Steatohepatitis. Huh. Mash for short. <laughs> <laughs> and then cirrhosis. Uh, that's what my grandpa died with cirrhosis of the liver, but he also drank himself. Uh, death, so his, was was called by his was caused by alcoholism. Yeah. Gallbladder diseases, kidney diseases, Gallbladder. pregnancy problems. Here we go. Here's one that I saw, I read through for. Um, studies show that being obese also lowers the testosterone levels in men. Yeah. Which depletes your sex drive. Mm-hmm. Uh, with women, it causes all kinds of pregnancy issues. Yes. Um, and a lot of women will find it damn near impossible to get pregnant while being obese. Well, that's Shelly's doctor when she, when her and her first husband, when she was still young enough to have kids, uh, and she wanted to have kids and her doctor had put her on some medication to try and her doctor flat out told her that unless she lost a minimum of a hundred pounds, there was no way that the medicine and stuff was going to work and she'd be able to conceive to have kids. Yeah. Cause it was already a slim chance, but with her being as obese as she was that yeah. there was no, I mean, no matter what kind of medication or what kind of treatments and stuff they did, that with as obese as she was, yeah. they wouldn't be effective. 
Um, and then there's the mental aspect of it. Um, depression, which mm -hmm. is not necessarily brought on by having a low self-esteem because you think of yourself as a fat ass in the mirror. No. Um, what you eat does affect your emotional status, your moods. Yes, it does. And when you eat like shit, you're going to feel like shit. Um, major depression, which includes symptoms of depression most of the time for at least two weeks that typically interfere with one's ability to work, sleep, eat, and You know study. what's funny? It's, that is a vicious cycle. Because yeah, a lot of is. times <laughs> the whole reason you're obese is because of depression, but your depression will... I eat because I'm unhappy. But because you're I'm obese because I eat. triggers your... <laughs> that bastard. Yep. It's a vicious cycle. Oh, my battery <sighs> must be dead in my Christmas cow. Um, perinatal depression. Yeah. This is a major depression during pregnancy or after delivery, postpartum depression. Um, depression with symptoms of psychosis. There we go. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Disturbing false fixed beliefs. But I don't know. They might have to change the DSM after this. Um, <laughs> because disturbing false fixed beliefs would discount 75% of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> And 90% of TikTok. <laughs> what? My cow doesn't sing his Christmas carol anymore. His battery dead? His battery is dead. There's no way to change it. There's gotta be. I'd have to unstitch him. Uh, Casey says, I have discovered that Indian women are very beautiful and am now planning trip to India. <laughs> All right, then. And your thoughts about obesity? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. There's, I've seen a couple of beautiful Indian women. And all I can yeah. think to myself is, yeah, because I'm what she's looking for, too. <laughs> <laughs> Again, back to depression. <laughs> Just got to keep your uh, views realistic trying to pick this gnat out of her armpit and she's actually letting me get it oh hey bonus. it's just like it might get really... really loud in a minute i think the girls just pulled up oh <sighs> but yeah that's uh that's just part of obesity yeah i mean it's not the topic that i want to talk about today because you and i will what, go on a massive well rant. that is no, that is part of the body yeah. image and yay positive. Oh, that's yeah, that's a whole nother show. Yeah, but <laughs> I am going to touch on the corner, which is why I'm giving you this warning here, so you don't tangent it off to Rantsville. Um, we're not taking that cor. We're not you turning. We're just taking a mild curve here, okay? All these people who are like, <laughs> Casey sums it up in three words: obesity is bad. <laughs> <laughs> All these people who are Very like, astute. <laughs> I'm big and beautiful and I'm gorgeous and you should love me for who I am and it shouldn't matter what I look like. I did a blog post on fat phobic yes. uh, things from TikTok. And that's great and I'm super happy that you were happy with who you are and how you look. But yeah, just because your before. damn blood work <laughs> says that you are healthy does not make you healthy. It does not mean that your no, joints and your... your body can support that. Yeah, there's a lot of damage that obesity is going to cause you that is not going to show in your blood work. Girls are here. Cheers. I'm drinking this shit. <laughs> um, let's see. Greater likelihood of depression. Obesity decreases quality of life. There's yeah. one for you. Now, we talked about this before where... Uh, I think it's actually when we did our rant on fat phobic or fat phobia. Uh -huh. It was uh, my biggest example is how a lot of people get pissed off because they make you pay for two seats when you weigh a certain amount yeah. on a plane. But these people are not taking into consideration science. A plane is only going to achieve lift if it weighs a certain amount. If you're filling up a plane with a bunch of people who are obese, that plane is not going to get up off the ground. <laughs> so... <coughs> When they're charging you for an extra seat, it's not because your ass is wide enough to fill both those seats. It's because your ass is too heavy 
to fill those seats. It's because that's, you're big that's enough how, to that's count how lift as two works people. On a plane. So you need to have two seats because you count as two people. Yeah, it's like on an elevator. This elevator only allows 1,500 pounds. There's a reason. <laughs> the engine's probably not going to move, and there's a good chance you're going to break the cable. So, but that's yeah, part of uh, quality of life. That I, I just, uh, I don't know. Uh, Neo says public opinion doesn't talk more about being healthy. The focus is on body positivity. Yeah, that's that's one thing that I'm so tired of hearing about is body positivity. It's okay. Like, don't get me wrong. It's okay to feel good about yourself no matter what you look like. But you also have to be realistic with it. Um, if you're walking around weighing 500 pounds, your quality of life is decreasing dramatically. Like, you can be happy and shit and think, say, oh, look, I'm beautiful and big. But that doesn't mean that's going to change the laws of physics for an airplane or an elevator. Or <laughs> one of my favorite examples on the blog is I wrote a blog post a while ago. Is uh, how I view weight loss from a zombie apocalypse perspective. <laughs> Yep. Am I going to be the hero or a hindrance? <laughs> Am I going to be fodder or a fighter? And so that's how I view it. So if uh, so the world was going funny. shit right now, I would be somewhere in the middle because I'm not exactly where I want to be, but I'm not the 300 pounds I was I'm before, screwed. which was going to be screwed. Yeah. I'm 100% screwed. So it's funny that you bring up Learn the how elevator. To fight. Oh, I know how to fight. I'm mean, so... I mean, I might have a some chance, but... A horde of zombies with a baseball bat. Pretty good bitch. <laughs> so, it's funny that you I bring up Resident the elevator. Evil. Come on. <laughs> we get on the elevator at the hotel. Oh, it's yeah. myself, Arabeth, Annika, Alyssa, Donovan, my dad, and you Dolores. And I go, it's okay, guys. I'll take the next one. Because <laughs> uh, Jerry's like, be... we'll be fine. And I'm like calculating up how oh much my God. No, going. just in like, just off the top of my head, I'm counting out of three people, 700 pounds. Yeah. And that's not including, uh, I was just thinking of you, Donovan, and Alyssa. That's not including Annika. And your dad, I mean, he's not fat, but he's not a small guy either. No. So... So, okay, let's go with, yeah. <laughs> you think about Arabeth and Dolores is 200 pounds, okay? If. <laughs> well, that's, we'll just count them as 200 pounds. Together, all right. Donovan, and I'm going to round up, Donovan and I are each 400 pounds, okay? So we're up to. That's a thousand right a there. A thousand pounds right there. <laughs> that's four people. Annika's another 350, which yeah. puts us up to 1350. Yeah. And then you add my dad, who's a good 250. Oh, look, we're at 1500 pounds. And we were getting in the small elevator. So now the big service elevator says 2500 pounds. Okay. Yeah. But we're getting in the small elevator, which says 1500 pounds. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to take the next one, guys. <laughs> Luckily, nowadays, a lot of elevators will, like, get, uh, set off alarms mm -hmm. before it even tries. But could you imagine so, being... But back in the day, they didn't. <laughs> could you imagine being in that elevator and it starts alarming? How embarrassing would that be? Right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Your quality of life goes down. Oh, I don't want to hold him. Never mind. He hasn't pooped in, like, two weeks. <laughs> He's been hibernating most of the time. He only wakes up when I give him worms. We're talking about my dragon, by the way. Annika's got him out. And I was like, ooh, hand him here. And then I was like, mm, nah. He's going to shit on you on camera. <laughs> yep. We have a... Okay, bring dragon. him here. All right. Hey, Anybody here, who's watching... Bearded dragon. Everybody who's watching seen him. But Annika's got the bearded dragon. This is Spyro. He doesn't have a Hi, Christmas outfit right now. My... Anybody who follows my Instagram account saw him with uh, Sabi on the ground. Yeah. Him and, and Sabi are good Sabi. friends. But, okay. He likes worms. Yeah. You get him grubs. 
Yeah, fat, juicy they're, ones. They're not grubs. They're well, mealworms. Well, mealworms. And he likes them a lot. He likes them a lot. <laughs> they're coming flying out of his log. I thought he gave himself a concussion. He came out of that rock today. Yeah. With a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> he won't touch his greens. He likes worms. Katie C says, my stepdad used to weigh 300 pounds. He got told he couldn't ride a roller coaster because he was too fat. Yeah. That's pretty embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, well, there's a lot of, like, most rides Sam will never be able to get on. And there's a reason why. They're not trying to be rude. It's the laws of physics. <laughs> well, okay. Best example. And I heard Annika's feelings this summer at fair. Okay. Well? Before fair. Before fair even started. And I told her. I'm like, Annika, this is not being mean to you. This is not picking on you. There are going to be rides that you are going to be too big to get on. Yeah. And then she proceeded to, like, go and prove me wrong and ride all the fucking rides. But, or almost all of them. But there were That's a couple crazy. that she was too big to go on. Yeah. And, I mean, that's one of the reasons. I used to love to go to Elitch's, which here in Colorado is a huge amusement park. And and I love roller coasters. Six yeah. It's always been Elitch's. It used to be Six Flags at Elitch's when they had bought it, but they don't have it anymore. Anyway. Yeah. I do, 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 do. love roller coasters i love the adrenaline i love that but i don't pay to go to elitch's anymore because my kids no, have been to elitch's twice most rides you can't you can't because i can't rides. ride them and why the hell am i paying 30 dollars for the damn day to go and not ride Walk any around. rides yeah but i know that it's because i'm fat and i weigh too much and i can't buckle safely into well, it's not the just the safety, but it's the same thing as with the plane or the elevator. Yeah. There's only so much weight those roller coasters can handle. Uh-huh. So they have to be a good roller coaster person. Would have to keep that into consideration instead of just letting whoever the fuck you want on the damn ride. So it's but that's, not... That that's how roller coasters fly off the track. Yeah, so it's not oh, that shit. you're being discriminated against because you're fat. It's because you weigh too much to safely be able to ride that. You should just mute yourself for a second. That's all right. Are you bleeding she to my death? Leg again. No. <coughs> yes. <laughs> Can you wrap all it ten claws. I don't know if there's enough toilet paper. She got me good this time. She missed my leg again, Max. That's 20 pounds of cat hanging off your leg by 10 claws that are fish hooked into your flesh. And again, she's too heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, but that's supposed to affect her quality of life, not mine. <laughs> oh, wow. She got me good. But what I was, I mean, so many people get offended and they're like, oh, they're fat phobic. Uh, learn some no. physics. Learn some... <laughs> yeah. Learn some science. fucking science. <laughs> it's not purposely discriminating discriminating against you because you're fat. It's you physically way too much to safely yeah. do it. Yeah. That's like I, said, I a, want a plane to... will not get a, a plane will not be able to gain lift if it's carrying too much. I want to go skydiving. I want to go skydiving so bad. Okay, it's one of the things Arabeth and I want to do really bad. I've done a lot of research into it because I do a lot of research into how low do I have to get to be able to go skydiving. Yeah. Now, my problem with this is I have to look and see if we could go do it in a different state. Because here in Colorado, you have to be 230 pounds or lighter to tandem jump. You Oh, wow, you might be able to get down below that. I don't know that I am physically capable are, of being are. 230 you are, pounds. You were pretty close to that when we first got together. I was 250 when we first got together. Yeah, another 20 pounds and you would have had it. I, I just, think you can. I don't I know. I think you can do it. That's, 
I mean, I just feel like it's so... And somebody told me that I should look at doing it, like, at sea level because uh, the it has to do with air pressure and... Um, well, we have less atmosphere. Up here. Yeah, atmosphere. So that it might, I might be able to be a little bit heavier if we were at sea level. Probably. That's one thing I would never do is like bungee jump. I regret to this day. My stepdad and I used to do all sorts of crazy shit. We used to go ride the craziest roller coasters and all of that stuff. And so when I was 18 years old, he asked me if I wanted to go bungee jumping with him. And that's where I drew my line. I was like, no, I am not. But that was in the 90s when everybody was dying because cables were snapping. <laughs> yeah. Or too long. Or too long, yeah. <laughs> so I was scared. To, I was like, mm, yeah, no, I'm not. And now that there's no way in hell that I ever go bungee I really regret that I told him no. I wish we would have gone. I I have a feeling, you know, I don't think I'd ever go. Only because I don't see the sense in jumping out of a perfectly good platform. <laughs> I think it sounds amazing. I have enough problems trying to stay on my feet as it is. <laughs> I don't need to do it on purpose. Uh, Casey says, I want to go skydiving too. Yeah, Arabeth and I have done some research and we want to go. Hmm. Um, another thing hang that I want to do that I can't do. Oh, hang glide. Oh, hang gliding would be amazing. I think I'd, I'd hang glide. I like, and I do. It's not like I'm Mr. Prude and never do anything fun. No. You haven't lived until you've done 40 miles an hour on the back of a snowmobile. Right? <laughs> that shit's crazy. Um, Another thing that Annika and I want to do. If you ever look up, look up bungee. What is it? Oh, I'm going to have to Google it. It's like bungee exercising. Okay. Let me see if that'll. Mm, what you bungee jump with dumbbells? No, it's, it's bungee fitness, okay? Sometimes... I, I have resistance cables. I'm good enough. I'm good. It is amazing. Some You should really look into it. They hook you up to, like, these bungee harnesses, and you bounce around while you're doing aerobics. And it's oh. this whole exercise class. <laughs> okay, uh, I've seen people do gym fails like that because they're doing it in, like, Planet Fitness and shit with oh. the resistance cable. Or yeah. not the resistance cables, but the weight cables. Because if you put them at a certain weight and you weigh a certain amount, yeah. they will pull you off the ground. And so I've seen dumbass people doing that. What I want to know is like, okay, so this is kind of sounds rude to you, but you know how they have that um, that artificial skydiving thing where the, it just oh, yeah, blows the air? Would it have enough air pressure to blow your ass up? I there? don't know. I've wanted to look into it. I don't find it rude. It's something I've wanted to That'd look be, into. Because yeah. I think it'd be fun, but I don't know that it would. Crank I up the see power. Yeah. But then they'd have to make sure that they drop it down because they're going to shoot some 10-year-old out the... <laughs> <laughs> but, so, Annika and I desperately want to do the bungee fitness. And there is three in the Denver area that do it. Hmm. But, you have to be below 300 pounds. Oh. Uh, you're working on it. That's I told Annika. I'm like, Annika, if we can get... Below 300 pounds, we will go do bungee fitness. Yeah. We're watching a video on it, and it looks like so much freaking fun. Well, on the Jim Fells videos, it looks like fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, that's what... And, guys, I came up with a new fitness goal. And anybody who's ever... <laughs> anybody who has writer, ever lived somewhere where you have real winter will get this fitness, new fitness goal. I used to have a fitness goal. Real winter. <laughs> I used For to have... all you people who actually live in the mountains and get snow. <laughs> right? I used to have this fitness goal that I wanted to, after mom and I went and almost died in the ocean, I wanted to be able to play in the ocean without, like, dying because literally mom was drowning. Mm -hmm. A lady came and helped her because mom physically couldn't get up and the waves were knocking her over. Okay. I went and played in the water and I didn't die, but I felt like I get hit by a truck the next day. See, I don't, I don't see why y'all just didn't. Oh, look, I got a. Oh, I got a royalty payment. Okay. I don't see under. Um, understand why you guys didn't just didn't use your buoyancy. Uh, the waves were too bad. They were literally rolling her. I mean, it was the water. The waves were just literally tumbling her, mm -hmm. and she couldn't get. Because um, like we we. Sh 
like when we had the pool set up, everybody floats except me. Yeah. I will sink. I sink like a stone. <laughs> but so I am too dense, I guess. <laughs> up in Sterling, they literally have ten foot drifts. Okay. Oh yeah. I have pictures of Annika who stands as tall as I am with another three to four feet over her head. Drifts. Yeah. Oh, I've seen. Oh, okay. But nobody else has it, right? Yeah. Um, we went and played in the snow. We did a ton of shoveling to dig my aunt and their roommate out and just, oh my goodness, guys, it whooped my ass. <laughs> like, and I was like, okay, new fitness goal, new fitness goal. I want to be fit enough to be able to go play in the fucking snow. Mm-hmm. I literally felt like I was dying just walking through the snow the day because I may or may not have got my car stuck um, really bad, like high centered and in the snowbank had to have a friend come pull us out. <laughs> we spent almost an hour digging out and walking yeah. in the snow and I kept sinking and, and the snow was coming up to my thighs. I mean, just out there walking in it, not even doing anything else decimated me like i couldn't function i'm like guys just leave me here i'm so done i couldn't move (laughs) it wiped me out and i was only out there and it wasn't like the cold wiped me out or anything like that just moving through the snow so slow and i'm like okay new fitness goal i want to be fit enough to be able to go play in the damn snow yeah that's a lot of a goal uh, KDC says, I'm just picturing them getting power generators to increase the wind power and kids flying to the ceiling. <laughs> Turn on the turbo. <laughs> Enough power to pull the ceiling right off. Now, here's my thing on this. Rip the flesh off a turkey. Because I work in customer service. Could you imagine being the... Cat here person who works there that has to look at somebody like me and be like I'm no. sorry ma'am <laughs> <laughs> see and, and you have to have some kind of patience because my kind of mentality and my the way I am I would never be able to do that job right if somebody would come up and I'd just laugh <laughs> but could you imagine having to tell somebody to like rude. me I just know the power of my engine here is not going like, to lift your ass up <laughs> I'm sorry ma'am you're too Bit, uh, yeah. you're I don't too cancelled. What uh, should I say? You're yeah. too beautiful to get on this ride. <laughs> yeah, like, how do you like? Could you, and it, you know, it's teenage kids that are working there that are like, How do I tell this? How do I tell this kid no, she, she's too fat? Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they see me walk um, in and start crying, <laughs> but you, it, it's you know, we can't bend the space time continuum (laughs) well sorry (laughs) and the problem is in today's culture there are so many people like i am fully aware okay dita wanted to get my mom a hot air balloon ride for her birthday yeah so dita and i was like mom and i might be too fat because dita didn't want to go with her she wanted mom and i to go (laughs) see so you're getting a derringer or a a, a deal at the uh yeah dirigible yeah so, I'm like, I'm gonna have to, I'm like, I'm gonna have to tell mom what Dita's gonna get her, cause I'm pretty sure that mom and I are too heavy to go in a hot air balloon but you, together. You might be, yeah, you might be. Now, what we did find out is, yes, we the two of us could go, but we'd have to pay for four people. <laughs> oh yeah, they, I mean they they want to get their money's worth. They don't want to charge a double. <laughs> well, they want to be able to get four people into a balloon. <laughs> But if the weight allowance, see, this is what we're talking about exactly. Um, if you guys weigh as much as four people, and there's only two of you, yeah, you can't put two more people in that balloon because then the damn thing won't take off the ground. Exactly. It's but, physics. So, okay, Neo says it right here. Neo says, I used to look stuff up or call and ask about the weight limit. I would rather ask and have them tell me I'm too fat before going up there. That's exactly yeah. it. But what I was getting to is people nowadays who are so I'm big and beautiful and you're fat phobic don't they're gonna go someplace like that and have a fit 
because yeah. they're you're you're discriminating against me because I'm fat. No, bitch, you're too fucking heavy to lift <laughs> yeah. that fucking balloon. Yeah, I'm not being discriminatory. Physics is being discriminatory. Yeah. <laughs> Gravity doesn't like but you. But <laughs> Neil, I also always and so before I even told Dita that I could do it, I called three different hot air balloon places. And found out what the fucking personal weight limit is. And then mom and I discussed it. Because Every I'm like, one of them was and, the same, huh? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. and you have to crawl your ass over that basket. And I was like, mom, you think yeah, you can crawl your basket. ass, in a hot, ass in a hot air balloon? Because we're mean to each other. And she's like, fuck, mm -hmm. no, I don't. Let's put yeah, it off. Let's lose some the weight. The baskets are about, what, four and a half, four and a half feet tall? Five feet tall? Yeah. Four and a half. I think about four feet tall. That's because yeah. you know you want to be able to look out about uh, look out of the landscape, but you don't want it to fall, fall out. That's into exactly the landscape. It. I'm like, mom, they're like four to five feet tall, and we have to climb up in that. You think no? This bitch is not climbing yeah. in and out of a basket. This one here was afraid to climb her damn swimming into pool the ladder. Swimming pool. And she only went swimming once. All summer long, I only went swimming once because I was afraid the ladder was gonna break. See, and uh, if you would have said something about Annika being that heavy, I would have told you. Annika was in and out of that pool all summer. Yep. Yeah. See, I, again, Neo, they don't ask themselves, can they handle that weight at 50, 60, or 70? In some cases, not even at 30 or 40. Yeah. Well, that's like, like I pointed out earlier. It's like, I have yet to meet a 90-year-old that is obese. Yeah. KDC says, I'm glad I started dancing at the studio, working out at the gym, and dancing every evening helps me lose or maintain weight. Having good hobbies can improve your quality of life. That is so yeah. true. See, and I like playing, um, I'm a big fan of playing the Xbox Connect. I love playing Virtual Smash, trying to break my high score record, uh, high score record on it. Um, I burn 340 to 400 calories every time I play, and usually I'll play it twice a day. Exactly. I, I love it. I love playing. So I'm trying to decide real quick, totally off topic, if it was a good thing that I just slammed all my moonshine and ate those, or if it's probably a bad idea. Like, Are you feeling tipsy? I'm just... <laughs> I'm I, buzzing. <laughs> I feel it a little bit, and I feel like I'm I a little louder and a off. little more involved in what we're talking about, so I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I didn't pour myself enough. That's sad. I didn't pour myself. That was a, it's a smaller glass. Yeah. So you should have poured two. <laughs> um, let's see. It's so hard to lose weight when all around you is pizza, donuts, pasta, and ice cream. When I'm out with friends, I eat very unhealthy and if I'm versus if I'm eating home. Um, no. See, I said I've actually demonstrated how I can eat virtually anything I want and I will still lose weight. It's just maintaining how much you're eating. I'm just, yeah, I, I, I have proper portion sizes. I like, um, one of my favorite things is uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I love the peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. Three of those is 180 calories, about 20 grams of carbs. Um, as long as I make sure that I'm active enough to burn it all, I'll eat whatever the hell I want. <laughs> I eat what I want. I eat what I want. Neo says, told you, Sam, sneak up. Yeah, moonshine yep. just like creeps up behind you and punches you in the back of the head. Oh, it's going to, yeah, it, it's shiving her in the neck here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, look at this. I mean, people who are just listening can't see, but my neck is completely red from my moonshine. You lush. <laughs> I know. What the hell? I only had one drink. One after another. No, I only had one. And six pineapples. Okay, so, so that might last, have been two. <laughs> the last... Uh, actually, there's a couple of other things I could have brought up, but it's already 8 o'clock, so... What other things? Decreased lung capacity. Oh, yeah. And not just I talking about sleep breathe. apnea. No. Yeah. When I'm heavier... Uh, part of that, um, according to the National Institute of Health, it is because the fat is pushing against your diaphragm, and so you're not able to bring in enough oxygen. That's, Which kind of goes along with uh, sleep apnea. When but I'm heavier, my asthma you're... acts up so much worse, and I cannot yeah. breathe. So just walking into the car carrying stuff, in from the car carrying stuff, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> you should hear it coming up the stairs. 
It's yeah. like Grandpa Dan, he's 65. I know. <laughs> And then the last one was internal organ strain. I kind of touched a little bit on it, yeah, but um, that is that. not shown in a blood test. No. Um, the fat cells in your body do start squishing up against everything, which also leads to a lot of the problems with your kidneys, liver, and um, heart. Yeah. There's some, one more too. Is it the gallbladder? Yeah. So like all that fat is still, it has to go somewhere. <laughs> Yeah. Your organs are like tucked inside your body, and your skin is is elastic, but not to the degree where it's going to protect your organs from being crushed by the fat that's around them. Exactly. So, Katie C says my student in her sixties. She's a dentist who works out, farms, dances with me, and goes walking a couple times a week. She's doing things she loves and is losing weight in the process. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. That's what all these people like um, that are like body positivity with being um, morbidly obese. Um, I love going walking around the lake. I love playing my games. I love going bowling. I love golf. A lot of those things would be a hell of a lot harder to do being obese. And yes, I know from experience. I am a much better golfer today than I was 80 pounds ago. I'm also a better bowler. And, yeah. Uh, that neck touch alone will get Sam followers for sure. <laughs> get Sam more followers. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Her, her videos, like she's got two update videos that are all but viral. And it's a bunch of guys that are like professing their undying love. So, I'm telling her, you need to make more videos. <laughs> Nobody watches my shit. Of course, I don't sit there half naked on camera. I'm sure people would watch it if you sat there half naked on the camera. Uh, yeah, but probably not the ones I want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> probably the same guys that watch you. <laughs> <laughs> be like, well, I don't care who it is as long as I say you skin. <laughs> anyway. Jeez. So did we, are we wrapping this up? Yeah, it's we're awesome. wrapping this up. I think we covered quite a bit. I do too. I think we did a good job. Yeah. Oh, goals for this week. Goals Not for this week. Not that I accomplished a single fucking goal. Right. Um, Neil says, do you plan on making more shorts in 2023? I don't know about shorts, but I do plan on going back to at least a couple times a week doing my check-ins. Man. The channel would be monetized by now if I you know. would have. <laughs> I will start after hey. the first of the year doing my check-ins at least it's twice a good. week. I'll I'll take money from horny guys. <laughs> right. So I will. It's not like we're a couple. Go ahead, stare at her all you want. <laughs> Just help the channel. Oh please! When we were a couple, it wouldn't have offended you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very trusting. You didn't, you've never given me a reason not to trust you. Exactly. Unless it comes to money. And then you can't trust me for yes. shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> that comes from 15 years of experience. <laughs> right? But, anyway, so, yes. After the first of the year, I really do want to get back to at least twice a week. Even if I have nothing to share and have had a shitty week, I want to... I, we still need to do the keto videos that we promised. Oh, shit, I have a video that I need to edit. Yeah, you did your, oh. your keto ice cream. Yeah, it was super good. And I, the second attempt on my recipe for the blog didn't turn out that well. I, it was really disappointing. Oh, mine's good. The I first still have one, it in the freezer. The first one I made was an orange creamsicle. Yeah. I mean, it tasted just like it. Awesome. So I'm going to go back to using that recipe. See if I can tweak it a bit and then do a video and a recipe on the blog. Yeah, see, the one, I, the one I made was awesome. So I want to do a recipe on the blog and do... I did the whole video for that, so I need to edit it and be I done. could. I could do a video on the ice cream that I made with the uh, blueberry pie filling. <laughs> that yeah, was... that's not very healthy, though. No, but okay. it was so good. <laughs> I'm fading pretty fucking quick, so... Uh... Depends, yes. I need more moonshine. I'm out. We're not 20 anymore. Nope. <laughs> We're old folk. Um, 
goal for this week? Again. My, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly am going to say it's the week of Christmas, and then we have New Year's. I don't have any goals this week. Okay. Sounds good. Everybody say fuck it to their goals. <laughs> don't everybody say fuck it to their goals, but... I just know that I'm going to say I'm going to try and do something, and then I have so much... Go I mean, what? I have, we figured yeah, out I have four yeah, fucking is... trips to Sterling. I have to work yeah. all week. I have, like, I have so it's much gonna going be... on, and I'm not going to do anything that I need to do. It's a clusterfuck for the next week, so... So, I mean, why put something out there that, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this, and I'm not even going to remember that I said I was going to do it because I'm so fucking busy the next week and a half that... Yeah. There you go. Like Neil says, said. give ourselves grace for the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. KDC so says, first. sometimes I have to remind myself that I don't need to eat much. Fat is just stored energy, so I take. So if I take my vitamins, eat protein, and drink fluids, I'm set. I don't need to eat anything else. Yeah. I don't need to eat anything else. I just like to. <laughs> you know, I like how Dan lost so much of his weight. And he didn't do a diet a heart attack? No. <laughs> I don't know. He said... Isn't that what kick started, though? Yeah. <laughs> it's his turn back. He said that what he did is he would just order the same amount of food that he always did. And before he ate anything, he'd cut it in half. Well, that's what I do with the, my Trader Joe stuff. Yeah. I'll so, cook up the whole thing and then portion it out in five separate meals. But I'm saying, like, even when he'd go out to eat or anything like that, and he just started off half. So before he'd even eat, because it's so easy to get your plate when you sit down at whatever restaurant. You, sit, mm. you go to a Texas Roadhouse and you sit down with this huge steak and rolls and all this. Yeah, I if, saw the rolls coming. <laughs> <laughs> if you sit down and you get a box right away mm. and you take half of everything on your plate and you put it in your to-go box and close it, and then it's out of sight, out of mind. Because so much of us are social eaters. Mm -hmm. And we'll sit there and, like, I'll have fries. And while I'm sitting there talking, I'll be full. And not even want them, but I'm going to pick because it's sitting there in front of me. Yeah. But that's what Dan said that that's how he started. Is he just took, every, he'd order his normal everything that he always ate. But he just would take half of it first thing before he'd even take a bite of anything. And put mm -hmm. half in a to-go box or half for later. Cool. And it made a huge difference in yeah, how he's, he ate. He's lost a lot of he lost a lot of weight since I met him. Yeah. Just by cutting everything then, you know, slowly it got where he wasn't ordering as much or you know. But that's how he started. <laughs> now when he orders Domino's, he orders for the whole week and I sticks know. in the fridge. In the fridge. <laughs> but yeah, so I have no goal this week. We will Alrighty. do a show next week to end the year. In the last end of the year. I will have to do it from the house in Sterling because I won't be here. Oh, that's right because you have your Christmas show up there. Oh, shit. I, can't, I won't do a show next week. I have okay, dinner so at the farm. All right. So next week we're not going to – we're going to have a bye week, I guess. Yeah. So. I forgot. That's okay because you can still see me on Rider Sanctuary on Mondays. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I guess this is sugar is Happy addictive. It's hard to stop eating and drinking anything with sugar. Take a lot of discipline. Yeah. Hmm? For some I people, know. I don't know. Some people yeah, don't have that problem. I have that. I have I, a sugar problem. I used to dump a ton of sugar in my coffee, and then I switched to Splenda, and I lost eight pounds like almost overnight. Right. Which is an indicator of how much sugar I use in my coffee, right? And how much coffee I drink. <laughs> so. Um, so I guess this will be, see everybody yeah, next year. Yeah, this will year. be uh, it for the year. Yeah. If I would have thought about it ahead of time, we could have done something special. I was going to say, I would have done something, <laughs> I know, now I'm sad. But I have oh, well. the Christmas party next week with everybody, because mom took the night off, and we're doing it Tuesday night, mm -hmm. so. We can always do it on another night, we don't have to do it on Tuesday. You're right. Or do I you think want we just should take a. No, I think we should just... do. I I feel like we should have ended the year better if we were gonna end the year. Okay. All right, guy. <laughs> we want to do Thursday next week. Thursday. It's the 29th. 
sure. Okay. So Thursday, tomorrow, it's, it's tomorrow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thursday, next week. Next week, we'll be live. On the 29th. On the 29th. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Groovy. Oh, I'm super red. <laughs> there you go, fellas. She's presenting her neck. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody have a great week. We'll talk to you next week. Have a Merry Christmas. And uh, yeah, have a merry and safe Christmas. Don't gorge yourselves too much. But don't stress yourself out about it either. Yep. So. So, okay. We will see you next time. We'll see you next week. God, I'm starting to sound like Philip Franco. I'm telling right. you, I want to get sued. <laughs> I know. Bye. We need an outro. Yes, we do. That almost sounds like a 70s 